Hello, my name is Heather and I am an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to show you how to take a book and alter it into a junk journal. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos and let's get right to it. So the first thing that you're going to do is take the two, the, the front cover and the back cover and, and put them together, pull them to the back. And then you're going to take a, a cutting knife and there is a little piece that is connected um, like with strings and you just cut all the way down and try not to cut the book. And even if you do cut the book, it can be fixed, but try not to. See, it's like a netting or something and you just cut right through that. and then just cut all the way down. And of course, save your book pages because you can make journaling cards and all different kinds of things, pockets with them. See, that's it's pretty easy. So the next step is to get some uh, Tyvek tape and take a piece of that Tyvek tape and put it right down the center. This stuff is really strong tape and it works really, really well to strengthen your spine. And then just take your scissors and cut any excess off. And the next step is if you're going to cover um, the inside covers on the front and the back, this would be the time to go ahead and put your cover paper on. If you don't and you just want to use the regular book that's already there, then you don't have to do this part. Okay, and then the next step is you can use fabric or you can use um, muslin. I couldn't think of it. Um, you can use fabric or muslin to cover your spine. And I have this really pretty um, butterfly and flower fabric and I thought I would use that for this little journal. You're going to use Fabri-Tac glue to glue it in. So the next step is to just ink around the edges. And I'm using Vintage Photo to do this. And then what 
I've done is I've taken a piece of chipboard and I have cut it down to the size of my spine, a little bit smaller than what my spine actually is so that it will fit right down in to the spine. And I'm going to decorate it up a little bit and I'm going to use um, some Distress Oxide Ground Espresso and a stencil. And then I'm taking some gold rub and I'm just rubbing it on the edges of this piece of chipboard. Because this will show a little bit. And you can also wrap paper around this. You can decorate it any which way you want. It's not going to show a lot, but it'll show a little bit. Okay, so the next step is to build your signatures and I am using, um, this particular journal is only gonna have, uh, it's gonna have two signatures. And uh, so I am cutting down the papers to fit this, the size of my book. There are a million ways that you can do this. Um, you can use a knife, you can do each individual paper. I'm just using um, my little fabric cutter to cut the papers. It's like super, it takes less time to do it that way. I'm kind of measuring it out. This way you can do it all at once instead of having to cut each paper individually. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where I want my holes. So if you put this on your um, craft table, the middle line there is that's your center. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball and I'm going to put uh, two dots on the top in the middle and at the bottom. And the top and the dots from the top to the middle will be closer together than the ones from the middle to the bottom. And I'm really just eyeballing, it's not anything precise. Okay, so the next step is to get your crocodile out and just punch holes uh, where you put your little dots. Okay, and then you take your little piece of chipboard and you put it up to your signature and you just measure out where the holes are. You just put a little um, put a little mark on your paper and that's how you're going to know where to put the holes. So the next thing is to just punch some holes in your paper where you put your little mark. You can use an awl. Um, you can actually use your crop dial if you want and punch holes that way. Um, I'm just using this little pin and I'm going to just punch holes in that way. Just do whatever is easier for you. And it is easier if you paper clip like all your papers together so they don't move. The 
step is to thread your signature into this little spine. So you're going to use some twine or some wax thread and you're going to go in the first hole or in the middle hole and then you're going to go into the second hole and then back through the middle hole and then through the last hole, the third hole, back up and then you're going to tie a really good knot and bam, you've tied in your first signature. So easy. And make your twine or your thread about three lengths the size of your paper. And we're going to do the second signature. Okay, and then we're going to take all the paper clips out and here we have our two signatures in our spine. Okay, the next step is to get your Fabri-Tac glue out and put a, a good amount of glue on the spine. And then you're going to place it in the middle and you're going to make sure uh, that you have it all lined up really good. And then I normally leave my book sitting straight up for about an hour. And then voila, you have a altered book junk journal. And these are the pages I used and I just used some coffee dyed line paper and some um, coffee dyed paper, some sheet music, some scraps, just to make this fun little altered book. It's a pretty easy process to create this journal. I hope this inspires you to create one for yourself. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.